Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the draw for the knockout stages of the 2021-22 UEFA Women's Champions League. First and foremost, congratulations to the eight teams involved in today's draw, who all navigated successfully the group stages and have their sights now set on May's final in Turin. The last couple of months were revolutionary for women's club football in Europe. And when I say this, it is not an exaggeration. For the first time, we've had a Women's Champions League group stage that was visible to everyone. This has meant greater professionalism, more eyeballs, and finally giving top players the platform they so richly deserve. And I must tell you, and I probably did already, I get goosebumps every time I hear this anthem being played before our matches, and it really makes me want to plan my comeback again. But unfortunately, then I have to realize, wake up quickly and see these ambitions are over. But joking aside, the point is this gets us excited and this competition is truly something to be proud of together. It is also something that stresses how important it will be going forward to further develop women's club football and to ensure that boys and girls are being treated equally when it comes to playing opportunities on the ground. Aside from giving a greater platform for players to thrive, the new format has also given fans of our sport greater clarity. With a centralized match schedule, now everyone knows exactly when the matches are being played and how to watch them. Our groundbreaking TV deals with The Zone and YouTube allow for a worldwide audience to follow this competition and this even for free. And in the first season, and despite COVID, it's also brought us some fantastic attendances. And with more and more clubs moving their matches into bigger stadia, the direction is absolutely clear. Over 18,000 watched PSG beat Real Madrid at Parc des Princes. More than 12,000 came to the Emirates to watch Arsenal play title holders Barcelona. And Juventus welcomed more than 16,000 fans in their match against Chelsea. And we know why this is, because who wouldn't want to watch the world-class talent in our competition? Girelli, Hoot, Katoto, Aslani, Endla, Kumagai, Puteas, Midema. There's simply too many stars to name them all and simply too many household names you don't want to miss out on. And allow me to finish by congratulating a couple of players. One of them scored, six, scored eight goals in six matches and delivered a decisive performance for her club, Wolfsburg, to actually make it to the quarterfinals on the last match day. Congratulations, Tabea Wasmuth, for being the top scorer of this season's competition so far. And talking about goal scorers, there is another one to be highlighted. A special one, one that had to fight back from injury quite hard to get back where she is again today, scoring very important goals for her club. At the age of only, only 26, Ada Hegeberg has become the all-time leading goal scorer of the Women's Champions League with 56 goals after overtaking Anja Mittag's record. Extraordinary Ada. But now enough talking from me. Please let us take a look at the quarter-finalists.
So the teams competing on the road to Turin are clear and probably the first image has come to people's mind on who will be the last two facing off for the European ground. But before that, there are some quarterfinals and semifinals to be played. And to help me with today's draw, I'm delighted to welcome on stage probably Italy's greatest ever footballer. She played five women's Euros. She has over 200 caps for her country and scored more than 100 goals. She's looking back on a club football career of over 25 years. Guess who I'm talking about? This is, of course, Patrizia Panico. Patrizia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for being with us and helping us to do the draw. A uh, great pleasure to have you with us. Patrizia, the Women's Champions League group stage is now coming at the end. Uh, how did you enjoy it? Which teams have impressed you the most? Yeah, thank you for, uh, to be here. This, uh, um, this new format is very interesting and uh, makes it more challenging because more teams can fight uh, for the final. And uh, I like uh, a lot Juventus, of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, he's uh, an Italian team. And for uh, reaching this stage of the competition. And Barcelona, for their way of playing uh, great. Absolutely understandable. You support the Italian team in this competition. Patrizia, looking now a little bit more specifically at Italy, uh, the final comes in a time where there's a big growth and development in your country. How do you see it as somebody who's still active in women's football? Uh, we are working uh, a lot uh, to improve uh, our national movement. Um, uh, hard work is a uh, hard work, mm -hmm. but uh, we hope to bring uh, an Italian team in the final in the following edition of, of Women's Champions League. That is a real ambition, a good goal to have, and I thank you for your insight. Patrizia, we're almost there uh, to get the job done today to do the knockout stages draws. But before that, I would like to welcome my colleague David Guff, Guff on stage, who tells us how the draw will work. David? Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Nadine. Good afternoon, everyone. The eight teams in today's draw have been seeded into two pots. The four group winners, Vauvelfeld Wolfsburg, Paris Saint-Germain, FC Barcelona and Olympique Lyonnais. And the four runners-up, Juventus, Real Madrid, Arsenal and FC Bayern München. The four group winners will be drawn against a runner-up from a different group. The runners-up will play the first leg match at home. There is no country protection meaning that clubs from the same national association can be drawn against each other. We will start by drawing a runner-up to be placed as the home team in quarter-final one. We will then draw a group winner as their opponent and we will carry out the same procedure for all quarter-final matches. If the group winner is drawn to play against the runner-up from the same group stage group, we will place the winner as the visiting team in the next tie and then draw another winner to complete the current tie. Should a clash be possible when drawing the last two teams last two ties, the teams will be drawn and assigned to the ties. I hope that's clear. Back to you, Nadine and Patricia. That's crystal clear. We are ready and I will kick it off by drawing the first ball from the runner-up pot. First team in this year's quarterfinals to be assigned to the home team of quarterfinal one. will be FC Bayern München. The reigning German champions and semi-finalists in two of the last three editions. 
Absolutely correct. Patricia, please, your turn. Tell us the opponent of Bayern. Oh, no. It can't be Olympic Lyonnais. Therefore, we need to take our time and watch carefully. Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain are the reigning French champions and they exited the group stage with a perfect record of six wins in six matches. Absolutely. Moving on to the next quarter final and again my job. All right. Next runner up. The designated home team of quarterfinal one, a uh, two, sorry, is Juventus. Juventus started the competition way back in round one, and also they're obviously the hosts of the final in Turin. And it's their first quarterfinal? Their first ever quarterfinal, yes. Patrizia, please. So, Juve? Wolfsburg. Juve, this is the clash we can't, of course, have. VW Wolfsburg will be automatically assigned to be the away team of uh, quarterfinal three. And, Patricia, I ask you again to draw uh, another ball to complete quarterfinal two and determine the opponent of Juve. So, finally, Juve's opponent will be... Olympic Lyonnais. Olympic Lyonnais. Obviously, the seven-time champions of this competition, including five successive titles. Absolutely. Sonia Bombastur's team has every reason to be confident. And moving on to fill the spot against Wolfsburg in quarter-final three. Runner-up, designated home team. Will be Arsenal women. Champions in 2007, England's only ever uh, Women's Champions League winner. Fantastic, and now it's me again, determining of course, the last team, quarterfinal for the designated home team. First runner-up will be Real Madrid. Real have reached the quarterfinals in their first ever season in our competition. Very true. And Patricia, please tell us who Real Madrid will play against. We know it. Again, Barcelona. The title holders and the second team with the perfect record in the group stage. An interesting tie. Absolutely. A Spanish duel here in our quarterfinals. Let us quickly look at the ties more closely. So, quarterfinal one will be Bayern München against Paris Saint-Germain. Quarterfinal two, Juventus against Olympique Lyonnais. Arsenal will face off against Wolfsburg. And Real Madrid, we just heard it, will play against title holders Barcelona. So, this concludes the quarterfinals. David, tell us please, how will the semifinals work? So, we have four balls representing the winners of the respective quarterfinals. The winner of the first quarterfinal ball drawn will play the first leg at home against the winner of the second, and then we will repeat the procedure. No restrictions apply. And now it's only your job, Patricia, <laughs> please. My job is done for today. <laughs> You have to do the work. Semi-final one. We know a quarter final four. So, first at home, either Real Madrid or Barcelona. And they will play against. Again, winner quarter final three. Against 
Arsenal or Wolfsburg. Spicy duels ahead here. And the last two balls to be determined. Semi-final two at home first will be played. Winner quarter final two. By either Juventus or Olympique Lyonnais. And let's confirm who they play against. Against the winner, quarterfinal one. Perfect. So either Bayern München or Paris Saint-Germain. This also determines the pathway for the semifinals. And I guess, David, we have one more draw to go. Yes. We will determine which semifinal winners will be considered as the home team at the final in Turin in May. This is purely for operational reasons, as obviously both finalists will be treated equally. The first ball drawn will be the home team in the final. Patricia. One last job to do. Winner, semi-final one. It'll be the home team in the final, as David said, just for operational reasons. Is this draw conducted? And this ball is just to confirm we've done everything correctly. <laughs> Winner, semi-final two. Fantastic. I can only say thank you very much, Patricia. Thank you, thank you David. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And yeah, this concludes the draw for the final stages of the 2021-22 UEFA Women's Champions League. Uh, I hope you are as excited as we are to look for and look forward to these exciting matches. But before that, we really wish you a lovely Christmas break and get some rest. And we look forward to seeing you again in 2022. All the best from Neil.